In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can generate free traffic to your Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce stores using ChatGBT and faceless YouTube videos. So I'm going to be showing you how you can use ChatGBT to generate YouTube video ideas and scripts, and then how you can turn those scripts into faceless YouTube videos without recording yourself or your voice and just using simple clips. And then how you can use those videos to drive traffic to your Shopify stores. And just to prove to you that this method works, here is a store that I have been using this method on over the last month. So as you can see from the 1st of February to the 28th of February, I have generated $820. And this is around 80% profit. As you can see, it is a high ticket item, $90 average order value. And because the traffic is completely free, I have managed to generate around 80% profit. So just over $600 in profit this month, just from using this method. And then we'll just go and refresh these statistics for you so that you can see that they are all completely true. So as you can see, nothing has changed. Now, if we do scroll down on this store, you can see the sessions by traffic and you can see the sales by traffic. So you can see there's a mixture of direct social and search. And the reason behind that is because sometimes when someone watches a YouTube video, they will just directly search your store and come straight over to your store or they will go over to Google and type in your store's name on there. So that's why it's showing as direct and search. But I can actually attribute all of these sales to this free YouTube traffic from these faceless YouTube videos because that's the only method that I'm using to actually drive traffic to this store. And you can see here the sales by social source are from YouTube and the sessions by social source are from YouTube as well. So how can you actually do this for your own stores? Well, I'm just gonna give you an example. So firstly, I'm gonna show you this faceless YouTube channel called Success Soccer Stories. So they've got 3.19 million subscribers and they just create loads of faceless YouTube videos around soccer slash football. So they just have a AI generated voiceover and then they just put clips over that voiceover, different soccer clips, and they are generating a huge amount of views. Now, surprisingly, they're not actually selling anything in their videos, but they could create a store like this one, which is selling these soccer grip socks, and they could drive traffic from their YouTube videos to a store just like this. And this store is selling these socks for eight pounds, and you can get them on CJ Dropshipping for four pounds with shipping. Now this store does actually charge four pounds for shipping. So they're making eight pounds profit per pair of socks. So like I said, if Soccer Stories was to create a store like this, they could generate a huge amount of traffic for their Shopify stores, and they can easily just go and replicate a store like this, drop shipping this exact same product. So how can you actually do this for yourself? Well, the first piece of advice I would give you if you do want to use this method is if you are going to start a store, start it in a niche that you have some knowledge of. Otherwise, it's going to be quite difficult for you to come up with YouTube video ideas and to stay motivated with creating those videos. Because when you create videos about a topic that you're not really interested in, sometimes you can get a bit bored if you don't see results straight away and you're not going to stay consistent with it because you need to be posting consistently on your faceless YouTube channel and directing people to your store for at least six to eight weeks if you are doing it correctly. So let me just show you what you need to do to actually start out. Now, the first thing you are going to do is create a YouTube channel. Now, don't worry, you don't need to have anything to upload yet, but the reason we are going to create a YouTube channel is so that you can research some ideas for your faceless YouTube videos that will be related to your store's niche. So to create a YouTube channel is super simple. You can just create a Gmail account, then just head over to YouTube, and in the top corner, you can then click on create channel and use your Gmail account to create a channel. Once you have created your YouTube channel, you are going to connect your YouTube channel to a free software tool called vidIQ. Now they do have an upgraded version, but you can just start with the free version. And the reason that you're going to do this is so when you start generating some ideas, you can see if they're worth making videos around and if you're going to get enough views because you need to start getting some views because that is how you can actually get traffic. You need a decent amount of views on your videos and then a portion of the people that view the videos will go over to your store. So like I said, once you've created your channel, then connect it to vidIQ and then when you head over to your YouTube channel 
on the right hand side, you will see the vidIQ software. Then what you can do is you can start searching keywords and vidIQ will tell you if it's worth making a video around that keyword. So we're just going to use the soccer example for this tutorial so that I can explain it in a very simple way. So let's say you wanted to create this store here and you're going to create faceless videos around the soccer niche to drive traffic to this store. So I'm actually a big soccer fan myself, football fan, and one player that I used to enjoy watching quite a lot was called Diego Milito. He's retired, this was quite a few years ago. So I've just typed his name into YouTube. So on the right hand side, vidIQ is going to show me the search volume. So this is how many people are actually searching it. And this will give you a score out of 100. So you can see the search volume is kind of low and it will also show you the competition. So how many other videos have been made around this keyword? So you can see the competition is low, but the search volume is kind of low as well. So ideally you want the vid IQ score out of 100. So this is the overall score. You want it to be at least over sort of 65, but we're just going to go with this keyword for the tutorial just so I can show you how it works. But like I say, look for a score of over 65. 65 where the search volume is decent but the competition competition is pretty low so once you have found a keyword related to your store's niche that's over 65 then you can think about creating some videos around that keyword so what you are going to do next is you are going to sign up for chat gbt so just head over to google and type in chat gbt and create an account all you need to do is just sign up with your email and choose a password and then you should come over to chat gbt and it should look something like this so what you're going to do then is you're going to click on new chat and all i've typed into the new chat is come up with five youtube video ideas about and then you're going to enter in that keyword that you've found using vidIQ on YouTube. So I've just typed in, come up with five YouTube video ideas about the footballer Diego Milito. So it has come up with those five video ideas. Then you can take one of those video ideas and you're going to open up a new chat in ChatGBT. And what you're just gonna do is you're gonna say, write a YouTube script about, and then you're gonna go and paste in that video idea. So you can see for this one, I've written, write a YouTube script about the career of football footballer Diego Milito and why he was so underrated. And then what ChatGBT has done, it has come up with an amazing script that I can then use to create this faceless YouTube video. So what you're then going to do is you are going to copy your script. So just go and copy it. And then you're gonna head over to a site called naturalreaders.com. I will use leave a link in the description. And basically what Natural Readers is, it's an AI reader. So it reads out anything you can paste into it and it will read it out in an AI voice. It has loads of different voices that you can use. This is the one I use called Davis because I think this voice sounds the best. You can go and test them all and see which one you want to use. So you then are going to just click on start for free and then you will be brought over to a page like this. So from here, you are going to paste in that YouTube script that ChatGBT has written for you. So what you are going to then do is just delete any parts of the script that you don't want to be read out. So you can see these ones in brackets or where it says narrator, you can just go and delete all of those. So I'm just gonna go and delete all of those parts. So I've just gone and deleted all of the parts of the script that I don't want to be read out. Now, one word of advice is I do recommend to fact check all of the scripts that ChatGBT write for you. And again, this is another reason why you should use this method in a niche that you know a little bit about because it's going to make it easier to fact check them. And the reason I say that is because ChatGBT sometimes can write some strange things that aren't actually true. And you don't want to create videos that have some very strange scripts because then people are just going to think they're rubbish videos and they're gonna associate that with your store and they're going to think your store is not trustworthy so they won't buy from it. So just make sure that you fact check your scripts. But because I know a lot about this player, I have read the script and I can quickly see that all of this is correct. So like I say, if you know about the niche, that it's going to make that fact checking a lot easier. So once you have gone and added your script, you can then go and choose your voice. So if you click on this little person here, you can see that you have a number of different voices. Now you will see premium plus and free. So if you want to start just with the free voices, which means when you download this as an MP3 file, it's just gonna be completely free, then you can of course just go and choose one of the free voices. Now they sound a little bit more robotic, I can't lie, 
So I've actually gone for plus, but you can go for premium. I think premium is around $50 for the whole year. So you can use this software. I think it's around $50 to $60 for the whole year. And you can use any of these premium voices. And if you do want to use one of the plus voices, I think it's around $110 for the whole year. But like I say, if you're just testing this method out, then you can always just go for the free voices. So once you have done that and chosen your voice, I do recommend to go and speed up the voice a little bit because these AI voices can be a little bit slow when they are reading. So now I'm just going to give you an excerpt of what this AI voice sounds like. Football is a game of legends. It's a sport that has produced some of the most memorable moments and some of the greatest players of all time. But in this world of superstars, there are some players who, despite their incredible talent, never quite get the recognition they deserve. One such player is Diego Melito. So that was an excerpt of how these AI voices actually read out your script. So it sounds pretty realistic. Now, one thing before you actually download this as an MP3 file that you're going to want to do is start directing people to your store. So I recommend around the middle of your script, you can actually then direct people to your store. So where it says helping them reach the final of the 2014 World Cup, I can go and add in a small sentence here where I'm directing people to my store. So I've just added in, by the way, if you're keen to take your soccer skills to the next level, try out our grip socks and use code tube 10 for 10% off all our products. Now back to the video. So make sure that you add this extra sentence to your faceless video YouTube scripts, because this is actually what is going to drive traffic to your Shopify stores. Now, once you are happy with your script, you can then click on these three dots and you can click on convert to MP3. Like I say, if you're using a premium or plus voice, you will have to upgrade your natural reader account. So just click on convert to MP3 and then just click on convert now. And then you are just going to hit download to download that MP3 file of your YouTube video script. So now you can actually edit that by adding some clips to it to create your faceless video. So in order to edit the videos, we are going to be using Premiere Pro. You can get a 14 day free trial of Premiere Pro. So just head over to Google and type in Premiere Pro free trial, and maybe you can go and create 10 videos within the 14 day free trial. And then you can just go and upload those without actually having to pay, but you can pretty much use any type of video editing software. So maybe you have a free one that you can use because all you're going to be doing is just dragging clips over the top of that audio file. So I'm just going to click on new project and I'm just going to call the project Diego Melito underrated and we'll just hit OK. And then from Premiere Pro, you should see a window that looks like this that says project and then you can click on new item, click on sequence and just name your sequence the same as your project and click OK. You are then going to drag that MP3 file onto your sequence. Now, as I mentioned, if you are using a different video editing software, it's pretty much going to be the same process where you are adding your MP3 file onto a timeline. Now, if I just hit backslash, it will show me the whole audio file. And now from here, all I need to do is just add clips related to that keyword. In this instance, it's going to be clips of the footballer Diego Melito over the top of this audio file. So in order to actually find these clips, again, you can head back to YouTube and just type in your keyword. Again, the keyword is Diego Melito. So now you want to find a video, ideally that doesn't have any watermarks. So just keep scrolling down and clicking on different videos until you find a video that doesn't have any watermarks. So this video here doesn't have any watermarks. So we're just going to choose this video. Now, once you have found the video that you want to take the clips from, so if we just have a look at this video, we can see there are loads of different clips of Diego Melito. The next thing you are going to do is install a software called OBS Studio. And this is a free software that you can use to record your screen. I'm actually using this software right now to record my screen. So then you're going to head back after you've installed OBS, you're going to head back to your YouTube video, and you are just going to open up OBS, hit start recording. And then you can just go and put the YouTube video into full screen. And then if you just hit the space bar, you can then go and play the video and you can actually record the video. So you can see the YouTube player will go away after a few seconds. And then you have all of these clips. So this is a 10 minute long video. My YouTube script MP3 file is around three minutes long. So I will definitely have enough clips of Diego Melito to go and add over the top of that YouTube audio script. So 
we're just going to exit the full screen now and we are just going to pause this video and all you need to do from here is just drag in those clips that you just recorded using OBS so I'm just going to redrag those in sometimes the clips don't come straight in so then what you can do is you can hold alt to delete the audio on this file so now all we have are those YouTube clips so I'm just going to move my audio file over a little bit and we're just going to see where it starts so you can see for example it starts here and we can just go and clip this so now we can just move this back and we can move our clips back and then all you're going to want to do is just cut this every three to five seconds so you're just going to want to show a new clip every three to five seconds for the entirety of your video script. So you can see my video script is only two minutes long. So it's going to be pretty e easy every three to five seconds. You're just going to want to cut that. So then you have your video. Now, of course, you can go and change some things. So, for example, if I wanted to get rid of this logo in the right hand corner, I can just go to scale and I can go and make this a bit bigger. And then we could, for example, move it over like this. So that is how you can go and get rid of any watermarks that you don't want on your videos. So if we just move it over, for example, like that. But then, like I say, you're just going to want to keep putting clips every three to five seconds. Also, listen to your YouTube script. So if we go back to ChatGBT, you can see it's given me some prompts of what footage I, said I should put in. So you can see here it says cut to footage of Samuel Eto'o and Wesley Schneider. So you can just go over to YouTube and search for footage that ChatGBT is recommending and you can screen record that so you can put it at the appropriate places within your script. So make sure that you just read the prompts and also just listen to your script so that you can pick appropriate clips to put over your audio file. So once you are happy with your video, you can just go to file and then you can just go to export and then click on media. And then where it says preset, you are just going to choose YouTube 1080 and then you can just click on export. So then you have your video ready to upload to your YouTube channel. Now, the last thing I do want to show you is how to create a thumbnail for your faceless YouTube video. So you can just head over to Canva, which is a free graphic video editing tool. Click on custom size, go for 1920 by 1080 pixels. So we are just going to choose this and I'm going to show you how to create a simple thumbnail like this. So what you can do is you can just head over to Google. You can type in something related to your video. So again, in this instance, we've gone for Diego Melito. Then you can just right click this and save the image. Then you can head over to another website called remove.bg and click on upload image and just upload that image that you saved from Google and it will remove the background. So then all you need to do is just head over to Canva and you can go and create a simple thumbnail. So if we go to elements, for example, I can go and type in soccer field and I can go and find, for example, this image here is the one I've used. And we can just go and drag that like this. We can go and add that to the center. Then you can go and upload your image from remove.bg. So I'm just gonna go and add this image here. You can click on edit image. And what you can do is you can go and add in some shadows or some glow or something like that. So for this one, I've gone and added a glow. So when you click on this, you can go and change the color of the glow. So I've changed it to white. And then you can go and change the size and things like that. So you can make it bigger, you can change the blur, etc., etc. And then finally, you can just go to text and you can go and add in some text. So I've added in this glowing text and I've just gone and changed the color to this yellow color. And as you can see, I've just typed in underrated hero. So when we zoom out, if we were to look at this on a mobile, for example, if someone wanted to watch our faceless YouTube video, you can see it's easily readable and they can see the player's face. So then all you need to do is just upload your video and consistently upload these videos for around eight weeks. And hopefully one of them will take off. So for me, one of my videos actually took off and it started to get a couple of thousand views. And that is how I started to get traffic over to that store that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So that is how you can use ChatGBT and faceless YouTube videos to start generating free traffic for your Shopify stores. Let me know down in the comments if you found this video useful. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.